Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott Clark with Scooter Media and today I'm going to show you guys how to shoot cinematic footage on your smartphone. On this channel we provide filmmaking tutorials and tips and tricks as well as some product reviews so if you are new here please consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our smartphones horizontally. We do not want to shoot like this. We're not doing Instagram stories or anything like that and we want to make it cinematic so we want to hold our phone horizontally and for today's video, I'm going to be using this gimbal here. You do not need one of these, but it will make your footage come out a little bit smoother. Um, you can find these things on the used websites for like 40 or $50 now, but you do not need this. You can just hold your smartphone and what you're going to want to do is we're going to want to put our smartphones into slow motion. And the slower you go, the better we're going to be. So if you have 120 frames per second, put it in 120. If you have 240, put it in 240. And if you're not using a gimbal, you just wanna move the phone side to side or up and down as slowly and as smoothly as possible. And that's gonna give you the best results as far as smooth footage when not using the gimbal. So for my example today, I'm gonna to set my phone in 4K 60 frames per second just because I wanna keep my video in 4K. Okay guys, for today's video, I found some actors that happen to be walking in the forest that we found here today. Just kidding, this is my daughter Emma, and this is my daughter Olivia, and they're gonna help with today's video. They're gonna be my actresses. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a shot of them coming into the forest, and we're basically gonna tell the story of them coming into the forest, hanging out, looking around, and then leaving the forest. And I'm hoping to make this video between 30 seconds to one minute long. So let's get started with our first shot. For this first shot, I'm just going to get the kids to come up the hill as if they're entering the forest and I'm just going to use my smartphone on the gimbal to kind of get a shot of them doing that. In this opening shot, I'm starting on their feet and slowly bringing the camera up to establish them and the forest. Okay guys, for this next scene, I'm going to use this giant tree here for a transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gimbal. The kids are going to walk on the other side of the tree and I'm gonna make sure that the tree fills the whole frame of my shot so that when we use the next shot, we can transition from this tree into a different shot of them walking. So I'll show you what we're gonna do now. In this shot, I need to ensure that the tree fills the entire frame while panning to the left for the transition to work. Okay, perfect. Okay guys, I found another tree right beside me here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tree to carry on our transition from the last shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the kids do the same walk the same way and I have to make sure I'm using my camera the same way in the same direction and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to again use the tree and make sure that the whole tree covers my shot and then we'll be able to use a nice transition between the two trees to uh, show the two different shots so let's do that now I need to do the same here with the tree filling the frame and panning to the left So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up some shots of them kind of looking at flowers, looking at the water, any kind of like interesting things that we can find throughout the forest that might look neat and cinematic on the video. Here's a quick pickup shot of their feet. I wanted to get an orbit shot of them overlooking the forest here. One thing you'll notice when I'm walking is that I'm trying to do the ninja walk with my knees bent and walking heel to toe to keep everything as smooth as possible. I start on the water here and then pull back to reveal the girls checking out the water. Now that I've established that there is water, I can show them playing with the water and looking at it. Here I'm just trying different angles and moves. Okay guys, we have taken quite a few uh, different shots. We've got some close-ups, we've got some wides, we've got some mids. The last thing I want to do is kind of get a shot of the girls leaving the forest and kind of put an end to our story. So they've come into the forest, they've looked around, now we just need some closing shots to kind of show them leaving the forest and kind of ending this story. So that's what we're gonna do next. They're on the bridge behind me here and we're just gonna get some shots of them on the bridge and then leaving the forest and that's all we're gonna do. And then we'll head back to the studio and edit. Okay, so we'll get those shots now. I wanted to get some shots of this bridge before we left and with the water flowing underneath, it still ties into the story I'm trying to tell. As nice as it is to have movement in the video, it's also nice to throw in some static shots to mix things up a bit. Here I'm just trying different shots around the bridge. It's always better to have too much footage than not enough. And another shot, this time on the bridge. Alright guys, I think we've got pretty much everything we need from inside the forest. The last thing we're going to do is just get our closing shots and it's literally of the girls leaving the forest to kind of tie up the end of our story. So we came in, 
we saw now we're leaving so we're just gonna get some shots of that and then we're gonna head back to the studio and do some editing on the video so we're gonna grab our shots and we'll see you back at the studio okay this is a shot of them going down the same hill that we opened the video with of them coming up and this will be our closing shot of them actually leaving the forest Hey guys, we're back at the studio now and I just wanted to mention a couple things that I didn't mention while we were in the forest. The first thing is that I was using the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus smartphone, which is over three years old now, and I was also using the native Samsung camera app on auto the whole time. I would normally put the camera in manual or pro mode and set all the settings, but wanted to show that it can be done on auto, yet it's not ideal when you're trying to make it look cinematic. I was also using the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 phone and gimbal, which is also three and a half years old, and I will leave a link in the description for the latest DJI mobile gimbal, which I'm sure has many more features than my old one, but it did do the trick, and like I said, you can find it used for around $50 now. Okay, now let's edit the video. The first thing that I'm gonna do is slow down my 60 frame per second footage to 24 frames per second. To do this, select all the clips that you wanna use in the project panel, right click on one of the clips and go up to modify and click interpret footage. Select Assume This Frame Rate and lower the frame rate to 24, which is actually 23.976. So type in 23.976 and click OK. It will slow my 60 frame per second clips down to 40%. If you shot your video at 120 frames per second, it will slow it down to 20%. And if you shot your video at 240 frames per second, it will slow down to 10%. And remember, the slower it is, the smoother all of the camera moves will look. Now that all my footage has been slowed down, I drag all the clips onto the timeline and go through and pick out what I think are the best shots to use. I'm also going to trim and cut all of the clips until I'm happy with the overall edit. I'm just going to fast forward this part to speed up the video a little bit as this video is more about the shooting aspect and not editing. But if you are interested in a more detailed look at how I edited the video, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video on that as well. The one thing I do want to show you is the tree transition that we shot in camera. The clip on the left is actually the second shot we took, and once the tree covers the frame, we just make a hard cut, and then find the right spot when the first clip fills the frame, and cut it there. And here's what the transition looks like. It probably would have looked a little bit better if the second tree didn't have the sun shining on it, but you get the point. Now I'm going to add in some cinematic music, as well as adding in a little sound design to spice up the video. I will color grade the footage because everything was so green in the forest, we need to eliminate the overall green tinge to everything, and add some black bars at the top and bottom, and here's what the final video looks like. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty darn good to me, especially for being shot on an old smartphone. I am going to wrap up the video in a second, but first let's ask today's question for comments. And today's question is, what videos do you shoot on your phone? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what kind of videos you guys are shooting on your smartphone. Leave me some links in the comments as well so I can check them out and enjoy them. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing. 
It really does help the YouTube algorithm push my videos to more of an audience. Thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.